Okay, so this is an example of how you could use an impulse response and a convolution reverb plugin in Reaper. Uh, so there's a couple of different methods of generating the impulse response, which is basically uh, a process of capturing the ambience of a space and exciting the frequencies. Uh, so the easy method is to go pop a balloon or shoot off a starter pistol in the space and record the decay of the sound. So an example here is taken from a parking garage. Uh, this is with a pair of small diaphragm condenser mics and XY configuration. And you could do con different configurations in stereo, mono, different placements, different configurations. And uh, they'll all sound a little bit different, but will work. So in the preparation of this, you probably want to leave about four to five dB of headroom uh, in the peak there and have it just about uh, on the start of the attack for the file. Don't leave too much silence in front. Uh, and then on the tail of things, you just want to create a small fade out because there needs to be a small amount of silence at the end of the impulse response. So you would take this, render it out, uh, which I've already done, and then you would have on your, uh, you could place the plugin, the convolution plugin on your, as an insert or aux track, whatever you decide to do. Uh, here's one called Freeverb. It's a little bit older VST plugin. Doesn't work very well on Mac computers, I found, but for Windows it still works really well. Uh, so what you do is click load and you would find that impulse response recording and this will convolve it with whatever dry signal is on the track. So here I have a recording of a spoken voice. I'll just play that uh, briefly. When one thing is becoming another, when writing is morphing, when... And you'll see that when I have the effect turned on. When one thing is becoming another, when writing is morphing, when the writing of an hour becomes the desire to write at all hours and into the night, fueled on caffeine or wine, and desiring instruments of writing, typewriters, And you see that it sounds fairly good um, in terms of it sounds like it's in a parking garage. So yeah, that's uh, one way you would create an impulse response and use it in a Reaper. Uh, there's many other convolution plugins uh, that you could use, like Space Designer and Logic is one, uh, Altiverb, uh, which is not free, but sounds very good. The other method of generating the impulse response itself would require a little extra equipment. You'd have to bring a speaker and you would do a sine wave sweep through the, through the space. Uh, and that works pretty well, but uh, you have to carry the speaker to the on location. Uh, and you also have to do a process after the fact called deconvolution uh, to prepare the impulse response.